What's up dudes, Chooch, back with another video, and today I'm out here with this awesome, awesome wheel right here. This is the B-Goad EXN, or XN, whatever you want to call it, but I've really been having a good time with this wheel, guys, and I've been putting in some miles on it, and I haven't really been filming too much off-road. I've been putting the miles in on-road, kind of getting used to the wheel and getting the feel of it. And uh, with these heavier wheels, I highly suggest doing that, guys. Even if you've been riding a long time, whenever you get one of these really uh, heavy, uh, long-range wheels with the, a lot of weight in the, those battery packs, just take a little bit of extra time to get used to it, get the feel of it, you know, go around and just don't be as quite as aggressive as you, as you normally are um, with your braking and acceleration and all that stuff and so i've taken a few days you know get used to it put the camera away so i don't act like an idiot or anything and then you know gotten used to the way the wheel works and everything like that and to report back to you guys this thing is just it's phenomenal and let me explain the way this wheel feels the hollow motor in comparison to a wheel that doesn't have a hollow motor just a standard axle wheel so and the way this wheel works, it has basically like a plane off speed on it. So your, your low end on this thing is only affected negatively by having this new hollow motor up to about 8 miles per hour. So look exactly right here. Check this out. On that acceleration, you saw how I literally had, I didn't have all of my weight for it and it was a little bit, a little bit bobbly. And it, my knees weren't bent completely and I was really having to put some pressure into it up to about eight miles per hour and you can see this consistently right here you can see my legs are completely extended straight right there and I'm really having to lean into it but as soon as it hit eight it hits about eight miles an hour I can loosen up a little bit and then it takes off from there guys it really does I mean this thing is phenomenal and the hollow motor i'm loving it i'm loving the way this thing's riding i'm loving the response of it you see i getting wobbles right there and that's what i'm talking about with um getting used to the way the wheel works you know this is about the fastest i've uh, taken this wheel up to and you really just got to get used to the way you know the, the way the wheel behaves and the wobbles like that um you know I, I get wobbles on wheels all the time you know and it's just i know how to m make it to where i'm not gonna fall from those wobbles and I, I really don't fall from wobbles much guys once it starts dancing like that the best thing to do is loosen up and put your weight low just loosen up put your weight low and don't fight it guys you just have the full mentality of you're going to stay on those pedals weight low center of gravity forward and just don't lean back dude whatever you do just don't just don't lean back and let the wheel go out from under you because that's just bad news stay on it no matter what just be like okay with the mindset of i'm staying on this thing when it starts dancing like that and it, it's it's rare that it happens and it, it's only going to happen um whenever you're getting used to a new wheel or you just started riding and for me you know once i get it dialed in and once i i know how the wheel works you know it'll take me probably about 150 more miles on this wheel to where I won't have any more wobbles anymore and it's just riding it you know you just got to get used to it so you see with this wheel I never get that low to brake and it's just this thing is is heavy you see how low I'm getting to have to brake and that's another thing I really like about this wheel actually is that you can put so much weight into your braking power into your stop and this thing stops buddy I'm telling you what this thing really really puts on the brakes quick and and Coming up, I'll show you in a second, where I actually put on the brakes so hard it went scared. And I've done that several times on this wheel, and I've stayed on it. You know, it's not been where I've actually crashed, but it surprised me of how fast the thing stops, man. This thing really is powerful, and it will it, you can literally um, almost completely skid to a stop on this thing. You know, you don't want to do that all the time, and it really it takes a lot of balance to, to, to maintain that when you do it. But I can say a heavier rider, you know, up to 220 pounds on those old wheels like the M Super X and the 84 volt wheels. Um, I know you guys were kind of hesitant on, you know, how hard you would brake and how hard you would accelerate. With a wheel like this, if you're a heavy set rider, you can just throw everything into it, guys. And what really, really helps with, with these heavier wheels for a person that's, say, a not quite as a heavier of a rider is these 
spiked foot pedals in combination with the power pads. And I'm not just saying this to, to sell you some BS or whatever, but I'm telling you it really helps because if you start going to, if you just put power pads on this wheel and you start leaning forward aggressively, your feet are going to have so much leverage from leaning forward that hard, your, your actual bottom of your foot's gonna start sliding and slipping a little bit, you know? And so the power pads in combination with those spiked foot pedals really provide that ultimate power and braking and, and control and everything, guys, it really does. If y'all are wondering about this ridiculous fender I put on here, so I went on Amazon and you can buy a CRF 50 little dirt bike. Um, you can buy the, the whole plastic kit in whatever color you want, whether it be blue, red, orange, whatever it be, and you can get it for 25 bucks. And it's all this plastic side paneling and stuff. And I'm always doing DIY projects. So I was like, heck yeah, dude. So I ordered the plastics for the CRF 50 and I just took the Dremel tool to it and I was able to I only used the front fender and then the front number plate to do what I did right here. And I just used some L brackets and put the L brackets uh, through and then screwed the L brackets into some power pads, the old power pads I had, and then put some foam on the front. And then I cut, I had a um, little circular saw that I used to cut the, um, or circular drill bit saw or whatever, you know, that you use to cut a hole with. And then I cut a perfect hole for the headlight on the front right there and on the back the reason it's white that's going to be that's clear silicone and it's going to dry clear but it's just white right now because i had just done this before I, I filmed this video and it's it's awesome man i think it, it looks good and it's it's sturdy and that mud guard really works good man it it stops all the mud from getting up there but i know it looks a little bit ridiculous and it's completely not practical at all because you know whenever you're trying to get this thing out of your door or turn it around or anything the fender just hits everything so I wouldn't recommend doing it. It's just a fun little project I did. Also, dudes, if you're wondering about this sweet pink jacket I'm rocking right here, um, E-Rides did a collaboration with uh, Lazy Rolling, the, uh, the armored jackets or whatnot. And there is, check that out right there. You see that? That was where I braked so hard. I hit that speed bump and that brake, and then I, the wheel actually skidded a little bit. But anyways, dude, these jackets, they're... Uh, there's four colors of them and they are awesome they're really really popping colors so there's a blue there's a yellow there's the pink that i'm wearing right here and then there's the arctic white and i think they're awesome i just wanted to get the pink to switch it up a little bit i put some sweet patches on this thing i had i had a awesome like rose and uh like this huge rose skull patch with like um, it was like bleeding roses on it and I was like dude that pink is gonna be perfect and I gotta get it and so I'm gonna be putting the patch on there soon but I, this is what the jacket looks like when you get it um, the other colors are sick too so the other lazy rolling jackets are basically made for electric skateboarding so when you crash you're gonna fall on your side this jacket has the level 2 padding in the front right there you see the two chest pads in the front so if you do go down like you're about to see right here you see the nature of falling on EUC is usually towards your chest you know so that's where the padding is on there there's four awesome colors the pink super bright blue yellow and art white I got more riding videos coming on the way of this wheel and the veteran Sherman coming up soon